Hunter glossitis or bifton is a diffuse, non-specific atrophy of the lingual papilla. The most common disorder that causes Hunter glossitis is vitamin B12 deficiency. And the most common risk factor which is associated with Hunter glossitis is Helicobacter pylori infection, because Helicobacter pylori can predispose to pernicious anemia, and in turn pernicious anemia can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. The pathogenesis of Hunter glossitis occurs in two stages. Initially, inflammation occurs, and then after inflammation, atrophy develops. On this image, we can see Hunter glossitis. As we see, tone has red and smooth appearance, and the reason for it is atrophy of the lingual papilla. So let's explain the pathogenesis of Hunter glossitis. So here we have a layer of tone muscle tissue. On top we have submucosa with blood vessels, and the most superficial layer is composed of a few layers of epithelial cells. Tone has stratified squamous epithelium. Epithelium is a very vulnerable layer, and we have to constantly replace damaged cells with new ones. For replacement we require cellular proliferation, and in order to proliferate, cells need to produce DNA molecules. But to produce DNA molecules, we need vitamin B12, and it's the key point. In case a vitamin B12 deficiency develops, the amount of B12 in our organism decreases, and without B12, we cannot produce DNA molecules, and without DNA molecules, we cannot maintain normal cellular proliferation. Basically, we cannot produce adequate amount of new epithelial cells. This creates huge problem because if old epithelial cells are damaged, we cannot replace them with new ones. So with time, epithelial layer becomes thinner and thinner, and exactly this state we call diffuse atrophy of epithelium, including lingual papilla. To explain the crucial role of vitamin B12 in this process, we have to recall biochemistry. Recall that folate comes into the body in form of tetrahydrofolate, and tetrahydrofolate gets quickly methylated. In methylated form, tetrahydrofolate is basically inactive. In order to be activated, tetrahydrofolate have to lose the methyl group. And it's the moment when vitamin B12 comes into play. Folate gives methyl group to vitamin B12. And now, free folate can be used for synthesis of DNA molecule. But vitamin B12 also do not like to be methylated. So vitamin B12 transfers this methyl group into homocysteine. This results in formation of methionin. So what happens with vitamin B12 deficiency is that without vitamin B12, folate cannot get rid of methyl group. So folate remains methylated and thereby inactive. Without free folate, we cannot produce DNA. Without DNA, we cannot provide sufficient rate of cellular replication. And because epithelial cells replicate by mitosis, mitosis rate decreases. And with decrease in mitosis, proliferation of epithelial cells decreases. So, if initially we had three layers of epithelial cells, if vitamin B12 deficiency develops, with time, without cellular replication, the thickness of epithelial layer will progressively decrease. Initially, it will be the first layer, then the second. So, with time, vitamin B12 deficiency can transform normal thick epithelium into a very thin epithelium. So, as epithelial atrophy progresses, Thickness of the epithelium decreases. First of all, such thin epithelium is very prone to injury. But also, the thinner the epithelium, the more visible becomes submucosa with blood vessels. And exactly this bright red color of the blood vessels causes this characteristic red color of the tongue. And thin epithelium gives this smooth appearance to tongue. As a result, during clinical examination, we can determine this red smooth tone, and also it's the reason why we call such tone a beef tone. The treatment is very simple. 
First of all, it's a correction of underlying cause, which is typically vitamin B12 deficiency. And also, if Helicobacter pylori is present, we have to prescribe eradication therapy. And as we see, after treatment, the appearance of tone comes back to normal.